Absolutely. Skills acquired in a traumatic environment are hardwired into the brain. You learned in that environment that if you drop the skills, even when you were in the war zone, when you were back at camp and you felt safe, if you drop the skills, something crazy could happen. We don't drop skills just because we flip environments. I think everybody knows where I'm going with this story. The kids we work with in residential facilities and some of the kids that are in our schools are living horrific lives, war zone lives in their homes. They develop survival skills. And what are some of those survival skills? Lying, stealing, aggression. So what do we do? We take their survival skills, we bring them into programs, we write treatment plans that say, this violence, this survival skills got to go. We got to replace it. You know, this stealing and lying, it's got to go. If you told that veteran, you got to get rid of all those skills, they're bad, do you think they would get rid of them? They might even see you as the enemy trying to take away their survival skills. If we're going to be effective with troubled youth, we have to recognize and be very impressed with the array of survival skills and stop looking at them as behaviors that need to be eliminated. As a matter of fact, if you tell a kid from a traumatic environment what you're doing is bad, they might see you as somebody trying to rip away what has kept them alive. That's not the way to do it. The best way to engage a kid who's been through trauma is to recognize that the things that they're doing that disturb society and have had them placed in our programs are survival skills. And if we were going to design an environment to help them change, it has to have some key components. The first thing is the environment has to be able to manage their aggressive outbursts. It has to be able to do that. You can't let them come into your programs or your schools and turn your programs and schools into war zones, which they will. You have to create a sense of safety with them so that they feel comfortable putting down their survival skills. What I say to the youth I work with is, can you put your survival skills down briefly and just experience, we'll keep you safe, just put them down long enough for us to talk about other ways that you can maintain safety. But I never ever tell kids, get rid of your survival skills forever. 